Hey guys, Dave here. I got another review ready for you and this is going to be um, what got the second most votes from my subscriber's choice. Uh, and this is Dolce & Gabbana's uh, from the anthology series number one, La Bataleur, uh, which means either the juggler or the magician. Uh, I've heard it can mean both. Whatever. Um, it was released in 2009. I have no clue who the perfume is. Um, couldn't find it anywhere who the perfumer of this one is. Um, it's the first one I think I've reviewed that I couldn't figure out who the perfumer is. <clears throat> it's not even, I couldn't even find it on Dolce & Gabbana's website. I couldn't even find the fragrance on their website. Anyway, um, as far as notes, we have top of cardamom and juniper berry amid of aquatic accord and coriander, and the base is vetiver, olibanum or incense, and cedarwood. Uh, as far as bottle sizes, there are, I believe, two. There's like a mini, I don't know if it's a half ounce or something, um, that comes, I think, in a set of all of them, and then there's the 3.3 ounce 100 ml. Um, this guy will run you anywhere from about 40 to 70 if you pay retail for it, so it's not too expensive for 100 ml. Uh, as far as classification, I would call it a kind of a woody aquatic. To me, it's more of a sport type of fragrance with that's kind of spicy woods with an aquatic middle. Right on top, I get a blast of warm cardamom with a nice, a synthetic, but a nice melon Kalon vibe, um, and a ton of alcohol right off the top. The alcohol does not last too long on my skin, but it's a very, very heavy blast of alcohol immediately. Once that alcohol wears off, it starts out warm and spicy with that well-done cardamom, which most of you will probably know what I mean. Cardamom gives it a seductive, spicy, kind of warm, sweet edge. I'm not sure if the melon note is coming from the juniper berry or not, but I'm, to be honest, I'm a sucker for that melon Kalon vibe. But then again, not many people aren't. Um, despite it being synthetic, I really do like the top. The top does not last all that long on my skin. It transitions into the mid pretty quickly. The mid and aquatic vibe comes in, but I still get that cardamom and the melon vibe as well. The coriander in the mid adds to the spice, but it comes off more of a spicy aquatic than just a spicy fragrance. The coriander I find to be a bit more dominant than that aquatic accord, <coughs> but it still has that sporty aquatic feel though. I would say that it's a unique take on an aquatic fragrance, but definitely the spicy aquatic has been done before. They're just usually not all that well done. The melon is still there on my skin in the mid as well. On the dry down, despite the pyramid saying incense, I don't really pick it up. Uh, any incense, to be honest, like at all. If there is any, it's barely there. Most I get a wet um, cedar with a very, very light vetiver in the base with a bit of that coriander and the aquatic accord still hanging on for life. The vetiver in this fragrance is very stripped down and almost washed out, if that makes sense. It's not really the vetiver that I personally enjoy. Um, and the top and the mid are my favorite parts of this fragrance, and the base is a bit generic for my taste. I tend to reapply three to four hours in uh, when I wear this to get back to the top and the mid. I, I'm not a huge fan of the base. It's just kind of bland to me. I would say that this is best for casual use. I could see it being used for dates as it does get compliments, but it's not super great on longevity and the base being not as good as I would like to make it better for casual stuff like school and work. As far as what women say, I do get a lot of compliments on this fragrance, um, especially during the top and the mid, but not really many on the base. As far as age, I'm going to say that this can be worn by absolutely anybody, at least to me. Number of sprays, I'm going three to four. Um, I usually apply pretty liberally with this one. Uh, I'm usually doing one on the chest, one on the neck, one on the back of the neck, and then uh, if I'm feeling adventurous, one on each wrist. Uh, otherwise, I just do one on the check, one on, one on the chest, one on the front of the neck, one on the back of the neck, and one on the shirt. Um, I have gone, gone as many as six, but I would recommend three to four. Um, you could do five if you want, but six gets a little heavy for my taste. Um, you know, I never really put a fragrance on during a review, so why don't we do that? There we go. Yeah, a lot of alcohol. Goes away pretty quick, though. 
it's just well not that quick um, as far as who would like this fragrance I think if you like aquatic fragrances and also spiky spicy fragrances this is one of the few that combines the two well in my opinion uh, if you like cardamom aquatics coriander or that melon type of vibe then I would give this one a try as far as who would not like this if you dislike frags that can be a bit synthetic uh, if you just like cardamom, coriander, or aquatics, then avoid this. The dominant notes to me are the cardamom, the melon vibe, the coriander, and the aquatic accord. As far as bottles, uh, I would say that if you like Escada Moon Sparkle, uh, Yves Saint Laurent's La Nuit de Homme, which is another very well done cardamom fragrance, uh, Armani's Aqua Digio, and Kenneth Cole's Reaction, then I would check this one out. What do I think of when I wear this? Um, sitting by the ocean eating snickerdoodle cookies with uh, watermelons chopped in half all over the place uh, yeah uh, as far as my ratings on overall smell I'm actually going to give this a 10 out of 10 despite my issues with the base and it being a bit synthetic and heavy on alcohol in the opening I, I really like the smell of this one like a lot um, it's the top is basically to me watermelon and cardamom which are two of probably my favorite notes in fragrances um, the combination of them is done well at, at least to me uh, it's unique to me and it is a well done spicy aquatic as far as projection it's only going to get an 8 out of 10 it's good within the first three to hour three hours or so I mean, it's pr it's really good in the first three to out three hours or so, but then it does get close to the skin, and it's not as good as I would like it to be, but it's not awful either. As far as longevity, it's only going to get eight out of ten. I'm getting maybe six to seven hours, which is not very good for my skin. It's not awful, but it's not as good as I would like it to be. As far as uniqueness, I'm going to give it an eight point five out of ten. Uh, the spicy aquatic type of fragrance has been done before but they usually end up being a mess in my opinion and the cardamom melon coriander and aquatic accord is fairly unique to my nose as far as versatility I will give it an 8 out of 10 I can see this being worn in any season but it does not last well enough for the winter in my opinion the cardamom coriander and vetiver make it more versatile than just a fresh fragrance though but I still think it's best for casual use uh, and if I had to pick a season, I would say it's best for spring and summer. As far as my overall rating, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Despite being a bit synthetic, not lasting well enough, and not being great projection-wise after that three-hour mark, I really love the smell. I keep coming back to it. I keep wearing it. Will this fragrance be for everyone? Definitely not. Um, but I wouldn't call it junk or crap either. It's definitely a unique spicy aquatic to me that I personally really enjoy. Whether or not you guys will, I can't tell you to be honest. As far as buy, try, or pass, I'm going to say it's a definite try. It's not something that everyone will like. Um, despite being cheap, a cheap fragrance to obtain, I would not blind buy this. Guys, please just don't blind buy it. You may not care for it at all. Um, you should be able to find it at basically any Sephora. Um, that's actually where I got it. Actually, this is a fragrance I got with um, my gift card that Frunk sent me. Um, I meant to get Voyage to Hermes and I got this instead. <laughs> uh, I do really enjoy it though. Um, so, that is my take on Dolce & Gabbana's number one, La Bata Litter. Um, as always guys, please rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.